Well, good morning. It is currently 7.15 a.m. I'm eating a Tossie bar. This is the peanut butter chocolate little granola bars from Costco. These are so good. They have eight grams of protein. We are on our way to Walmart. I'm doing a super quick grocery pickup this morning for just a couple of things. We needed some more balls for Palmer. And so I added a couple more things to my order. I actually ordered the sugar-free pumpkin spice creamer and it came back unavailable. So it must not be at my Walmart, which is a little bit of a bummer. I am ready for pumpkin spice season. I actually got one more thing. I've been wanting to try this product for a while and they came out with the pumpkin version, so I grabbed it. I'll actually show you guys a little haul when I get home. These Tossie bars, also side note, super, super delicious. Love that there's eight grams of protein. I did have my protein coffee this morning. I started it before I went to boot camp. I My workout today at boot camp was great. It was hot and sweaty and buggy and full of mosquitoes as always, but it was a really good workout. I'll pop up here on the screen, the stats from my Apple Watch. So I got my workout in today, drank my entire protein coffee while I got ready for the day, had my little Tossie granola bar. And then when I get home, we'll have some protein packed, we'll have a small protein packed breakfast. I was just so hungry that I had to have something before I actually got home from Walmart. Because once I work out within about an hour or two after I finish, I'm super, super, super hungry. I have some new supplements that I've been loving that I want to share with you guys today. You guys ask me a lot about what supplements I take and why. And there's a couple of new ones that I've added to my routine in the last couple of months that I really, really am enjoying. So I'll share those with you guys. He has a doctor's appointment this afternoon and he wants me to go with him. He's been having quite a few gout flare-ups. I think what I'll do is today give you some updates because I actually have an update on Troy. I have an update on our house and I have an update on Lola. So we'll make this a little updates on our family video as well. But let's grab our Walmart groceries, get home. I'll show you the little haul, eat some breakfast, going on our vitamins and our water for the day. And like I said, we'll just see where the day takes us. We're here, spot number one. I'm the only one here for grocery pickup. So hopefully my order comes out shortly. Here comes my order. Jen? Oh, sorry, give one second. Okay. And uh, you're aware of the out of stock item, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, I'm home from Walmart. I just gave the dogs a treat. I'm gonna flip you around and show you just the few things that I grabbed. So quite a small haul, honestly. I got a watermelon for Troy because he requested a watermelon. I got the pumpkin spice cold foam. I've never tried this. And like I said, I've wanted to try cold foams for a while. So we'll put this on our coffee a little bit later this morning. And then I grabbed some C-A-L-L-S's for, for Palmer. These are like some of his favorites and they only had a limit of two. So they must be almost out. So I bought two of those and then Troy and I got him this this last weekend and he loves it. It's even a glow in the dark. So, and he can't destroy these. He plucks the nubs off of these ones, but he can't destroy this one. So I got him just a few as a backup. Do you know that there's balls in this Walmart haul? Huh? Do you? Is it time for a new ball? Yeah, is it time for a new ball? Okay, okay. Lola, come on, let's get ball a new ball. Come on, come on. I told you, it's a daily occurrence. I'm actually surprised. I didn't have to give him a new one before I went and picked up the Walmart stuff. So I buy these right off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap price. They have, they squeak and he loves these. So I'll link them. And then I always give Lola a little bone when I'm in here giving Palmer his ball. Boy, is this it? <laughs> ready, ready? All right, here you go, honey. Oh, it's a good shape. So since I ate that little granola bar, like I said, on the way to Walmart, I'm going to just have some protein for the rest of my breakfast, healthy carb and protein post-workout. So I'm going to have my good culture cottage cheese. I think I'm going to do three quarters of a cup instead of the traditional half of a cup because that's going to give me about 20 grams of protein instead of 13. And then I have a tiny little bit of watermelon tidbits left from this pasta salad that I made this last weekend for Julia's birthday. I'm just going to pop some pineapple on my cottage cheese. So here is the rest of my breakfast. So my little granola bar, three quarters of a cup 
of Good Culture Cottage Cheese with half of a cup of pineapple tidbits. Breakfast is done. I am full. That was actually the perfect accompaniment to my little Tasso granola bar. And now I'm going to take my Bellway gummies. So whenever I go to boot camp, I do my collagen in the morning in my coffee. I do not do any fiber before I go to boot camp. I work out outside. So there is a bathroom, but nobody wants to be using the bathroom in the dark at 5 a.m. at a park. So I usually save my fiber supplement for the day until after I get home from boot camp. And I always take Bellway. So I take Bellway anywhere from three to five times a week, depending on how my workouts go. These are a no sugar added fiber gummy that tastes amazing. It's actually kind of like a sweet treat. It's in the flavor raspberry lemon. They're organic and like I said, no sugar added, but they, and they taste absolutely amazing. So they look like these cute little raspberries. You take three of them daily and that's going to give you four grams of fiber. They are 100% vegan and let me tell you how amazing these work. If you're backed up a little bit, which is very, very common with the higher protein diet, I know I absolutely have that issue. This will take care of it. Not only does it help keep you regular, gives you all of the, gives you four grams of fiber, so it gets you well on your way to your fiber goal for the day. And like I said, they taste amazing and I really appreciate that they have no added sugar. They're actually sweetened with stevia. Most gummies are just packed with sugar, so I really try to avoid them, but I've been taking Bellway for a couple of years now, like I said, multiple times a week, and it really has upped my fiber and made things a little bit more flowy and regular for me, which is something that, like I said, I personally suffer from. So I do have a 25% off discount code for Bellway. I will put it down in the description box. They do have monthly subscribe and save. That's what I do. I just have them delivered monthly to my doorstep. That way I don't even have to think about them. You get even a better deal and they just show up once a month or how often you want them to show up on your doorstep. So highly, highly recommend the Bellway Fiber su Gummies, my favorite fiber supplement, hands down. Look at the name of this watermelon. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. We got ourselves a sugar daddy watermelon. Now that I've taken my Bellway, I'm going to mix up my creatine. So this is a new to me flavor of the One Up Pure Rebuild. This is the creatine that I use. This is Fruit Punch. And let me tell you, I actually texted my friend Amy in New York, the one that I had my cosmetic surgery with, and said, you have to get the Fruit Punch flavor because it tastes like the Hawaiian Punch, the sugary Hawaiian Fruit Punch drink. It tastes just like that. It's so, so good. And she takes her creatine every day. Now, whether you work out or not, you should be taking a creatine supplement and I like the one up the best because it tastes great helps me get in my water but also gives me high quality creatine which helps with recovery muscle building just leaning down your body in general can actually help with weight loss so like I said whether you work out or not you should be taking a creatine supplement so I just add one scup one scoop to my cup, fill it with water, mix it up with my little handheld frother, add some ice, and like I said, I get in a cup of water and I get in my creatine for the day. So I'm gonna mix this up. I have a little bit of work to do in my office. working in my office a little bit, I have a coaching call this morning, and I'm ready to take my next supplement for the day. Now, this is something that I started taking about a month and a half ago, and I've been loving it. I heard about this online, I ordered it. This is from the supplement brand, Purality Health, and this is actually called Glutathione. I'll pop up the word here on the screen. I had to look it up on how to pronounce it when I first got the supplement, and this is a detox spray. It's an antioxidant detox spray. It's actually dubbed the master antioxidant for good reason. It's rapid absorbing and it's a delicious detox spray full of antioxidant. So you just pump a few sprays on your tongue and I do this every single morning. Has kind of a citrusy, lemony flavor. It helps with hair, skin, nails, but what I love about this is it makes your metabolism skyrocket. It helps boost your metabolism, naturally detox your body, give your body antioxidants that it may be missing, and it's so simple because you just spray a few pumps on your tongue daily. I'll actually pop up here on the screen some informa information on this. It is a substance made from amino acids, glycine, cysteine, glutamic acid. It is produced by the liver and involved in many body processes. It's involved in tissue building and repair, making chemicals and proteins needed in the body and immune system function.
nutrition. And it aids in weight loss, boosting that metabolism. It's actually been such a game changer for me. I definitely feel better. My skin looks really good. I'll take the metabolism boost. And like I said, it's so easy. Just a few pumps on the tongue. Tastes delicious. Highly recommend. I will link Curality Health down below for you. They actually have a wide variety of supplements. I definitely want to try out a few more in the future, but I've been absolutely loving, loving this. And I plan on continuing to use this daily because the re benefits have been mind blowing. So I'll link it down below for you with a discount. Are you ready for the first pumpkin thing of the season? I definitely am. We're going to try out the International Delight Cold Foam Creamer in Pumpkin Spice pumpkin pie spice. You get two tablespoons or 10 grams for 20 calories. So I'm going to weigh this out on my food scale. I don't know if I'll just do the 10 grams, but that, but I would count that as zero points. If you're going to do more than 10 grams, I would probably count the points for that, but we're going to put that on top of my drag up cold brew. This is the white and it's a vanilla cream cold brew. I mentioned last week, this is my favorite flavor. I love it. I'm actually out of it. It's so decadent. It's got the perfect vanilla taste and it just pairs beautifully with anything, whether you're making a protein coffee or you want to test out something pumpkin spice. And then I am going to put in a little bit of the Trader Joe's non-dairy oat creamer. I also love this one tablespoon, 25 calories. I'm just going to do about a tablespoon just to kind of change the color of the cold brew since we are adding the cold foam. I'm seriously so excited for this. All right. So I've got my 24 ounce Mason jar. Let me bring you down and let's make this coffee. So I'm going to add my cold brew and I do my cold brew to about three, about three quarters full. And then my creamer, like I said, just enough to change the color. I think I'm going to add some ice before we put on the cold foam. All right just so my coffee is nice and cold. I'm so excited to try this. I've never tried a cold foam. Let me turn this to grams, zero it out. And one serving is 20 calories, two tablespoons, 10 grams. So let's add 10 grams. Ooh, she's pretty. Okay, so there's 12 grams. So I'm going to do 20. Okay, there's 20 grams, let's do 30 grams. Ooh, so there's 30 grams. Let's taste the pumpkin spice cold foam. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so sweet and so pumpkin-y. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna mix it into my coffee. That was 30 grams, which is three servings or 60 calories. So I'm going to count that as one point. And then my creamer is also one point. So I'm going to count my coffee as two points. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so good. That cold foam, 10 out of 10. Mm. Definitely going to be a staple the entire fall season. Hi, Bubbacito. He is still tired. He got up early today with dad. Mama, you tired? Yes, he's a tired Fenty. Mommy, will come cuddle you in a minute, okay? Mommy, come cuddle you in a minute. Yes, he's the cutest Fenty bulldog. Come on, you coming in? Oh, yes, a good girl. <gasps> were you sunbathing? Yes, you were. Okay, it's time for treats. Should we do treats? Oh, yes, I came in from outside, it's time for treats. So Lola has her own treats, the lower protein treats, Palmer's treats. Okay, here's for you, and here's for you, good girl. All right, my final supplement of the day. Now I've taken my multivitamin, my iron supplement, my vitamin D, all of my regular pills, but the last supplement that I've been taking are these. Now I actually discovered these on TikTok shop and you can see I've been through an entire container of them and I'm working on a fresh container because these are amazing. These are so delicious, incredibly effective. These are from the brand Akasha and these are the glow, the sea moss glow gummies. So basically what this is, is it's a sea moss in gummy form. Sea moss powders, sea moss gel, sea moss in general is not good 
tastes absolutely disgusting. I've tried so many in the past and just haven't been able to really get on board consistently with the sea moss supplement until I found Akasha because these gummies actually taste amazing. They're kind of sweet, they're organic, and they really are effective for your hair, skin, your nails. Gives you all of the benefits of sea moss, but what's really cool in this particular brand is what's called pearl powder. They actually call pearl powder the secret tonic to beauty and in beauty products in general pearl powder is extremely expensive and Akasha actually crushed it up and put it in the sea moss gummy. It helps with radiance and rejuvenation of the, your skin, helps with fine lines and wrinkles. I'm almost 49 years old so any anti-aging I can get I'm here for it. Gives a glow to the skin, really gives you a glow from the inside out, can benefit your gut health and gut health is so important for weight loss. Helps with acne and blemish scars, pore refining and toning. There are so many benefits to sea moss and then when you pop in pearl powder in addition to the sea moss, it's literally game changing. And you can see, I've been loving these. I've been through an entire container and I'm well into my second one. You can actually buy these on the Akasha website. Like I said, I discovered them on TikTok, bought them on TikTok shop, but I know a lot of you aren't on TikTok. So you can actually get these right on the Akasha Superfoods website. They also have a few other supplements, but I'm obsessed with the glow gummies. This is something I've added to my daily routine for months now, and I have noticed a drastic difference in my skin and just in my weight loss in general. All of these supplements benefit weight loss and all of, and Akasha sea moss gummies with the pearl powder really just help beautify the skin and help with anti-aging. So I've been loving these. I did reach out to Akasha, got a discount code. I'll put all of it down below for you, but it's always a true testament when I have a fully empty container and I'm working on a second one. All right, let's drink this amazing coffee together and let me give you those updates, I promised. So I have quite a few kind of updates. Let's first talk about house update. A lot of you have been asking for more information on our new build. So if you missed my life update video and my first vlog, I actually vlogged the beginning stages of building a new house, going through design, just kind of navigating that process. I'll link both of those videos down below for you. Right now we're literally in a lull. There's not a whole lot going on. We're waiting for our actual, all of our design choices have been sent to the project manager, Dave, that we met during the design process. Process. It goes to his assistant and basically gets fully executed. All of our design choices, upgrades, changes, all get put into the system and ready to get on the construction schedule. So that's kind of what's happening now. We are anticipating being on the construction schedule officially September 11th. At that time, we are assigned to a superintendent. Apparently our superintendent's name is Jeff. And like I mentioned in the vlog, we actually briefly met him when we were in the neighborhood walking through one of the homes being built that was our same floor plan. Seems like a really nice guy. So we'll be assigned to him. He will be our superintendent throughout the entire process. And then Dave is his boss, which is the project manager. So we have two points of contact during the house build but most of our communication will be through Jeff. Now, once it gets assigned to Jeff on September 11th, then all of the permits are pulled. So the water, the sewer, the electrical, it's all pulled through either Pima County or Sawita County, which is the city we live in now. It depends on who holds the permit. And that process takes a about a month to get through, which seems so ridiculous. <laughs> but it takes a month apparently to get all of the permits pulled and basically be ready to start construction. So according to Dave, we're looking at breaking ground the second week of October and the date he mentioned was October 8th. From now until October 8th, there's really not a whole lot going on. We're just kind of in limbo. But as soon as we break ground, we will start, I will start documenting and vlogging the entire process and that will go through the entire build, which takes takes five to six months from breaking ground. So we're looking at a move in date, closing date, house being built, ready to move in towards the end of March of 2025. So we still have literally like eight months before, before we can move in. And it's just gonna, it seems like such a long time, but everybody I've talked to is like, girl, that is nothing. A, a build time of five to six months once you break ground is nothing. I'm hearing a year, two years. So we're grateful. It's just for us because we're so excited Excited. I just feel like time has really slowed down and maybe once we break ground and we start seeing everything coming to fruition time will speed up a little bit but right now because we're in a lull it's just it's a boring time and it just feels like it's dragging on. 
I've been in communication with our realtor, the same realtor we used to purchase this home. We're going to use her to sell this home, but we're, and we're looking at a potential listing time for this home, December, January, depends on how the market is. The interest rates are supposed to lower in September and then potentially again in November because it's an election year. So that's kind of going to dictate too when we put our house on the market. We we would love to line it up where this house closes and our new house closes together and we can just streamline move into the new house kind of like we did when we moved here. So right now the listing date of this house is kind of up in the air. I think once we break ground and know a little bit more on that timeline, we can dive deeper into the listing of this house timeline. So it's exciting. We're really excited. We're already looking at things. We've made some purchases. I shared a few things I bought in last week's What I Eat in a Day. We've also purchased some artwork, some light fixtures. We're just stacking it up in our spare bedroom for like a storage unit until we move. But we're little by little purchasing things just so that we don't have that massive expense once we close on our new house. But at the same time, we don't want to purchase too much before we near the end of construction and being ready to move in. And like I said, I'll be vlogging the whole thing. So you'll see us purchasing things. We need to buy all new furniture. It's going to be a lot. So there's going to be several videos as part of the home building vlog. The reason I'm a lot of you have been really grateful that I'm actually vlogging the entire experience because you might want to build a new home or maybe you're just curious and nosy like I am and you want to know what's involved in the process. So it's going to be really fun and you guys will be with us every step of the way. We're just in a little bit of a lull right now. And then the next update I wanted to give you was on Little Miss Lola who's currently sunbathing outside. She is in her final round of this round of chemo. So in the protocol of chemo that she's in, there's four sessions that she repeats four times. So essentially 16 sessions in this round of chemo. She's in the 13th session. So she only has three more left of this protocol of chemo. As of Tuesday of last week, she was in full remission still, looks really, really good. Just thriving, she's absolutely thriving. I'm so beyond grateful literally every single day that she's still in remission because it's, it's mind blowing that a year and a half ago she was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer, which is term, which is a fast progressing, potentially quickly terminal cancer. And here we are with her thriving. So I'm so grateful. I tell her every day. I tell Troy every day. I thank Diesel every day for watching over her because that's the only thing that makes sense to me why she's doing so well. And let me tell you, I'm beyond grateful. I value every second of every day with her. And one of my goals this year was to quit working early enough that I can spend time with her. And I've done that this entire year because it's really important to me to spend as much time with her as possible. I have my whole life to work. I don't have Lola my whole life. So I really want to make her a priority. When she went to chemo this last Tuesday, they did another test on her urine. I've mentioned that she has high protein in her urine. She's actually had that in her urine for a while and we saw an internal medicine doctor about a month and a half ago. They changed her diet completely, gave her, she now takes a fish oil supplement, she takes a medication for the protein in her urine. Well, they tested it again on Tuesday and it's still elevated and her kidney levels were even a little bit more elevated on Tuesday. Not to the point that it's massive concern, but the concern with kidney issues with dogs is they're not reversible. So things like kidney failure, is not reversible. So we're trying to prevent that. We're in the preventative stage of any further kidney damage. Now there is no protein in her blood. So that's a really good sign. That's why there's not a ton of concern, but there's still concern. And right now we're just focusing on the lymphoma. That's our number one concern is to keep her in remission. So I'm actually going to be calling the internal medicine doctor today because we may have to make some changes to her medication if this isn't lowering that protein. So that is on my agenda to do today. But other than that, she's doing really well. And like I said, she's thriving. She's absolutely living her best life. And I'm so thankful for that. And then the last update is about Troy. When I was at my 30 year reunion at the end of July, when I was gone, he had a really bad gout flare up. So Troy has very high uric acid. He actually takes a medication to kind of like Lola to balance out that uric acid. Well, he had got a pretty bad gout flare up while I was gone. He couldn't even walk. And when I got back, we immediately did a virtual call with urgent care and they gave him Colchine, Colchine, it's a medication that breaks up the uric acid and that medication works like that. Within a day, he was feeling 90% better. Well, he just got, an, and that gout flare up was in his 
me. So he wasn't able to even walk. Well, this last week he had another gout flare up. It started in his toes and then eventually was his entire foot and his heel. So we had to have another virtual call with urgent care. He got prescribed another round of colchine. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Colchine, colchine. He got another round of that and he's doing much, much better. He's actually out with his dad this morning, but we need to figure out why the medication for his uric acid and his gout isn't working because he's had two huge gout flare ups in the last less than month. So that is why he's going to the doctor today to talk to her about gout and maybe figure out what's going on and how we can maybe prevent these gout flare ups. And then she just monitors all of his other medications that he's on. That's why he's going to the doctor today. We have got to figure something out because it gets so bad that he can't even walk. That's the same situation that he had just this last week. And it's very frustrating for him. I mean, he's 50 years old and he has these gout symptoms and these medical conditions of a man twice his age. So that is what we're trying to figure out at the doctor today. He's doing much, much better. He's taking prednisone as well. And he's just trying to alleviate any of the gout symptoms from this recent flare up. But like, we've got to try to get this under control. It's just, it's out of control. So we need to try to figure out what medication we may need to switch to. So I'll update you guys later on that, because like I said, we're going to the doctor later today. So I think that's it. I think that's all of the updates that I have for you. I'll continue to update you on everything. The house, Troy, and Lola. So you guys wanted to see my Unwitch. I mentioned this in my grocery haul and it was a renouncing yes. So I was gonna show you how I make my Jimmy John's Unwitch. It's been my go-to lunch. It's so good and just a great low carb option. So I use these romaine lettuce leaves. You can use larger leaves and make a large Unwitch. I make two small unwitches just because I really like this lettuce and the leaves are a little bit smaller. I use any kind of lunch meat. This is just some ham from the deli. I've been using this cheese from Trader Joe's. I really like the pepper jack in here. Again, you can use any cheese. I like to add some onions. I use light mayonnaise and I've been loving this dill pickle mustard. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. So I just put together basically a lettuce wrapped Jimmy John unwitch dupe and then i'm actually going to have some of these quest crunchy protein puffs i love these 130 calories 17 grams of protein they taste like a really crunchy cheeto super super good so let me show you how i make my unwitch so i washed and dried my lettuce leaves i grab out my food scale i'm going to use half of a tablespoon or about seven grams of mayonnaise per on two of the lettuce leaves and then i put the mustard on the other two And then for my ham, I do one to two ounces per lettuce leaf. So I have my scale tarred out to zero. So that's 0.8 ounces. So I think I'm going to do two slices of ham per lettuce. So that's one and a half. So it'll be about three ounces of ham total. That's 2.9 ounces, perfect. And then I do a slice of the pepper jack cheese, a little half, so it's basically one slice of cheese total. And then any toppings that you want, I like just a little bit of red onion, you could do tomatoes, pickles, really whatever you wanna add to your little sandwich. And then I just take one half with the meat, put it on the other half with the cheese, and it's basically like a little lettuce wrap sandwich. And like I said, if you use a larger romaine leaf, you could make just one basically foot long Jimmy John sandwich. I've got my Quest chips, and that is how I make my Unwitched dupe. So again, here is what they look like. I'm telling you, such a good lunch, super, super filling. You've saved the carbs on the Unwitch, and then you can have chips of your choice. These are actually super low carbs, only four grams of carbs. So honestly, this is a super low carb lunch. It's such a great way to save a ton of money because Jimmy John's charges so much for their Unwitch and you can make it at home. I just finished my lunch and now I kind of want something sweet. So I'm going to have one of these Trader Joe's fig cookies. A serving of these is two. One of them is plenty for me after my lunch, but it just sounds really, really good. I had a pretty low carb lunch. I don't know, just sounds really good. I try to really honor my cravings within reason, just watch my portion size. That's a big thing that I've done throughout my entire weight loss journey. I continue to do that in maintenance. So I'm gonna have one little fig cookie for dessert.
So for my afternoon snack, I'm making a yogurt bowl. I want something a little bit more substantial because I'm going to go with Troy to a doctor's appointment. He wants me to come along. This is the doctor that I will actually be seeing. I just couldn't get in until the end of the year. I booked an appointment with her like eight months ago and her first opening was the end of the year just to establish a new primary care doctor. So Troy wants me to go with him today and meet her and just go through all of the options that we have for his health. So I want, like I said, something a little bit more substantial since we'll eat dinner after the appointment. So you saw that I have my Too Good Yogurt in blueberry, some blueberries. I'm going to do some lemon curd because I really like the blueberry lemon vibes. And then of course, Catalina Crunch. Right now I have the maple waffle. I'm actually going to do half of a cup and that's 110 calories, 11 grams of protein. So this will be like a 25 gram of protein snack. And like I said, that will tide me over until I can make dinner. So let me put my yogurt bowl together. For my dinner tonight, I'm making baked queso chicken. I'm so incredibly excited for this. I'm going to pair it with the side and some veggies. So let me show you what's in the chicken. So you're going to need a tomato, an onion, chicken breast or chicken tenderloins, whatever your preference is, queso, garlic powder, cumin, paprika, and Italian seasoning. It also co calls for cayenne pepper. I'm omitting that because the queso that I got is medium and we do not do spicy. So I'm omitting anything extra spicy and then some salt and pepper. And for sides, I'm making barley and lentils for myself and then I'm gonna make Troy roasted chicken rice and then we're gonna do some green beans. So I have added my chicken to a Ziploc bag. I'm going to add all of my seasoning. So some salt and pepper. Garlic powder, cumin, paprika, and Italian seasoning. And then I'm just going to smush the chicken together, get it coated in all of that seasoning. I'm going to spray a nine by 13 baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm going to add in my chicken. And then I'm going to sprinkle the onions and tomatoes right on top. And then I'm going to spread the jar of queso on the very top of the tomatoes and the onions. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop in the chicken for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then right before it's done, we will warm through the barley and lentils, the rice, and I will warm through my green beans. So the queso chicken is out of the oven. Oh my goodness, does this smell and look incredible. Let me go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share dinner. So here is my dinner. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. I may have a second piece of chicken. I'm just going to wait and see. Ooh, you're fogging up. I'm gonna wait and see how full I am because I have my barley and lentils and some green beans. So I'll go ahead and put up here on the screen the points, calories, macros for the baked queso chicken. It is time for some dessert. I'm about to go wash my face, put on my pajamas. I have a couple shows that I wanna watch with Lola. We have The Bachelorette to watch. We're just gonna hang out the rest of the night. So I'm gonna have a Wonder Square for dessert. I've been loving these. These truly have been my dessert pretty much daily since I got my order. This one you can see is the peanut butter. So it's literally like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And when I don't take that lightly, it, it tastes just like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it's 100 calories and eight grams of protein, where a Reese's peanut butter cup is double the calories, half the protein, really, really delicious. I'm telling you, total game changer. You do have to keep these in the refrigerator and they taste even better cold. I get them off of Nutrition. You can buy single ones or you can buy a case. I bought a case. I bought two full cases actually. And I've been, like I said, having this pretty much daily for dessert or at least some point during the day for a sweet treat. Love, love, love these. You can't beat it for 100 calories, eight grams of protein. So that is a wrap 
on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I had. The dinner recipe, 10 out of 10, it is on my website. I'll have my website at the top of the description box. I'll also have Purality Health as well as Bellway. Everything I shared with you in today's video, I'll link it with any discount codes for easy shopping as well as my free Facebook group. Come and join us, Nutrition Coaching. It'll all be in the description box. Happy Wednesday, friends. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.